Paste it inside. It's a great tool just for performance because it's like desktop speed, mobile speed, and UX as well. Now the UX side is really interesting because like you take a tool, you take a, a site like Hacker News, for example, try to look at it on mobile, try to put it through PageSpeed Insights, and what you'll notice is that the UX scores there will actually show you images showing you know where where they can improve. So they've got like really small touch targets, for yeah. example, meaning that if you go on a phone and you try navigating around that, you're you're hosed. Um, so they could probably fix that. Yeah. Maybe. Um, something we also recently added to PageSpeed Insights uh, was the ability to just go and download optimized images and optimized CSS and other resources. JavaScript it's like stuff, a, yeah. a subtle little link underneath all the scores you can go and check out. I would say like it, you, you're going to get a different pack of stuff depending on whether you're in the mobile view or the desktop view. Mm. But it's worth checking out, like even if you don't use them, just to see like what kind of savings you could get. Um, like it's it's interesting to see it, but like the other side of it as well is you kind of want it in a build process because right, right. the minute you change anything, you don't want to have to then run through PageSpeed Insights to then get the downloaded stuff and yeah. And obviously, I ended up doing a video on PageSpeed Insights for last year's I/O, so you know, there's that. It's it's almost an upsell. That no no.